Agent of Doubt made a video response to the Amazing Atheists video, a plea to Hillary voters, please don't. And I don't know fully whether or not it's just playing devil's advocate. I actually haven't gotten to the full end of the video, but some of the points he's making piss me off. They do. And I didn't feel like doing a back and forth video thing where it takes me three hours to do the editing and then an hour and a half to... It's just no. I, I didn't feel like that, so I'm being lazy and I'm just doing a live uh, response thing right here. And I'm going to the section that is pertinent. Now, let me let me state this. He says he would much rather vote for any of the uh, the Democratic candidates over that are that have been popular right now versus any of the Republican candidates that are popular right now. So it's not like he's saying he would vote for a Republican, and I want to make that clear. He does say that earlier in the video, but I don't want to make this video super long. So I'm going to start it at the pertinent areas. Right here, he's going to give arguments for that take the Amazing Atheist's arguments and sort of turn them around to be able to argue a different perspective. And so here it is. Uh, first, TJ said that Hillary is a shape-shifting person, reptilian, who changes her mind. She's a calculating monster. She uh, only makes decisions based on what's popular and what's trending. Uh, she stands on polling numbers and compromise. I think that, that pretty much sums up his 12-minute his video. Um, and Bernie has always been Bernie. He's always had the same stances. Um, so what I'm going to say about that is that Bernie hasn't reflected the opinions of the people. And would you rather have a politician in office that does not reflect the people that they are are representing i would rather have someone in office who sticks to their convictions and does what it is and and promotes what it is that people voted them in office for if i vote someone in office and they say they stand for this if it suddenly becomes popular in the polls for people to, to, to support this thing, I don't want them changing their, their, their stance on things simply because the popular opinion changed. I voted for the person for the things that they stood for when they, when they were running for office. Is that what you want? The whole purpose of us being a democratic republic is so that, you know, our, our legislative officials, they, they reflect who they are representing, you know, and they, they try to be a little bit more intelligent and, and make decisions and, and get us through the political process, but they're supposed to do what we want them to. Yes, which is why they need to stick to their convictions that they, they said they held when they were running for office. That's pretty simple as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so to say... Uh, in hindsight, that uh, fr from our perspective now, that uh, Bernie is closer to what we are now, you know, ever since 30 fucking years ago, and Hillary Clinton was always changing her mind. That's, you know, that's brilliant use of hindsight, I guess, but what happens when we progress 10 years down the road and Bernie Sanders is not what we want? And he is still unwaveringly Bernie. Ten years down the line, if he was voted in an office, he only has eight years. So your question doesn't even make any sense. Okay? If even four years down the line, he's voted in office, four years down the line, we start to change, we don't have the same opinions anymore, we vote someone else in office. Pretty simple. And unchanging. And Hillary Clinton's willing to change her perspective and change the way that she runs the country you know based on how people feel about issues and actually listen to people and and change her mind with whatever's popular 
Well, that's not her actually changing her mind. That's her doing what she thinks people will like in the polls. I mean, look at the way that the propaganda was for the war in Iraq. Um, people believed somehow that Iraq was responsible for 9-11. Should politicians just do whatever the, the people... Oh, look, oh, yes, go, Iraq was responsible for 9-11. No, go to war with Iraq. I mean, that seems to be what's what you're kind of arguing here, you know? No, don't go with what's actually right. Don't actually analyze the situation yourself and figure out what's right. Go with what's popular. You know, are you still going to want someone who's locked into their ways for their entire career and doesn't compromise one bit? Or are you going to want somebody who actually represents people the way that our government is supposed to fucking work? The way that our government is supposed to work, we're supposed to vote people in who represent our views, and then if they start to not represent our views anymore, then we vote someone else in office the next time. Um, next, the, the next point that uh, TJ makes in his video is that Hillary isn't a good leader because she follows polls. And this is a direct quote from TJ. A true leader can convince people of their vision. That's what he said. In the same fucking video, TJ shows a clip of Bernie Sanders talking to a fucking empty room. How fucking effective was that as a leader for him to convince people to change, you know, and, and follow his vision when he's talking to fucking empty rooms for 30 fucking years, you know? Bernie Sanders did not change the American public's opinion into supporting him. Bernie Sanders held that opinion for 30 fucking years and nobody listened to him. And then something called the Occupy movement came along and changed people's minds about certain political issues. And he just happened to be the one that matched those politics that the Occupy movement were, were putting forward. He was right the whole time. Okay. When it comes to the support that Bernie Sanders has gotten in the past, no, he hasn't gotten much support. Because everyone wants to just go with a status quo. They don't want to go with what's right. When the Occupy thing came up, people started to realize, oh shit, this guy is right. Bernie has always been standing up for what's right. That's the kind of person I want in office. Okay, he didn't do it. You know, did you hear him in the news changing minds? No, he was talking to fucking empty fucking rooms just like you showed in your fucking clip, TJ. So, this sort of goes... No, I, well, I was going to say no offense, but it's a kind of a, a, an empty uh, 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 statement, but to say no offense. But, you know, you have the kind of view about... Uh, you know, about artists, you know? Well, it doesn't really matter if, if some group makes really good music. If they never get heard that much, then what was the point kind of mindset that you have? You know, you need to try to make money. You need to try to be popular. You know, this is, this is going into your political views. I hope you can see that. So, uh, let's see. Then TJ, uh, dishonestly, I'm going to say, shows a clip of President, no, no, not President, uh, Senator Clinton, um, when she was running for Senator, when she said that uh, she would not support gay marriage um, in her New York Senate run. And what I'm going to say there is, Do you think that Obama wants universal health care? I think he does. But when asked publicly, when he was trying to get a little bit of le legislation passed on his Affordable Care Act, he would say things like, Oh, sure, you can keep your insurance company if you want. You know? 20 years from now, if he's still alive, people will ask him, uh, Was that just rhetoric? And he's going to say, Fuck yeah, it was! You know, I was candy-coating that shit. So you support 
politicians lying. You support this stereotype of politicians just telling people what they want to hear. You support that. Do you really think that we're eventually going to have universal health care? Do you think that what we have right now is a, is a step towards universal health care? Or do you think it's just more lining the pocketbooks of insurance companies? I mean, Republicans, Republicans have been known to just state their actual views. They push it forth, and when they get in office, they get their stuff passed. They get their stuff pushed forth, whether or not it's popular or not. And the reason why Democrats are looked at as wussies, as people who won't stand up for their convictions, is because they won't. They won't stand up for their convictions. You know, I didn't want Republicans to shoot it down, you know, and, and, and be able to amass enough people against th this progressive idea. You know, this was the first step towards universal health care, and we fucking took it. Obama could have used his powers to just say, no, we are going to go towards universal health care, period. We're going to universal health care. He could have shoved this shit through. Because I didn't frame things as a, you know, all or nothing fucking objective. He took baby steps. Okay. Now. Again, do you really think that what we have is actually working towards universal health care? Do you really believe that? Hillary Clinton would have realized in that 2004 Senate run, uh, because of polling numbers, that if she were to come out and say, oh yeah, I'm for gay marriage in New York, just blatantly, openly, she would have maybe gotten 2% more Democrats to vote for her. And she would have enraged 20% more Republicans to vote against her. And then we would have no Democrat in that senator's office, okay? Do you think that's the way it should be? Are you supporting that sort of thing? That we should let Republicans bully us around so we can't actually stand up for our convictions while the Republicans can stand up for their convictions and the Democrats can say whatever they want, but the Republicans get shoved forth what they want. Now, how, think about this. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton did more harm to the gay community than any president we've had because of this very same bullshit that you're describing as a good thing. He passed things that hurt the gay community more than any other president we've had. Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and Defensive Marriage Act. And you're going to claim that's a good thing? So we hurt people. We, we hurt causes. Because we don't want to cause waves. Oh, let's not cause waves. Oh, no, we're crossing waves. Pathetic. I'm sorry. That's pathetic. How about, how about uh, NAFTA? Oh, let's not cause waves with corporations. Let's, let's push this through because it's popular with large businesses. It's popular with corporations. Yes, let's not stand up for the people. Let's stand up for corporations. It's popular. It'll help him. Great, let's pass this. Let's pass NAFTA. You think that's a good thing? She did the hard thing. Fucking swallowed her fucking pride. And only put forth what part of her agenda she could get the opposition to not fucking mobilize against. Like I said, Defense of Marriage Act... Uh, don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, great. That, that's great. 
all this this compromising that we do in these regards, all these this compromising the Democrats do on a constant basis, where they don't stand up for their convictions, is why we we haven't been able to make any goddamn progress. That's exactly why. And you're supporting this shit. You want more of this shit. You want more, you want more of, of someone, you know, going with what's popular, with what's popular with the people at the time, and what's popular with business, what's popular with big business, what's popular with corporations. You want a fucking corporate candidate. Now, granted, I think any I think Clinton, Hillary Clinton is way better than than uh than Ben Carson or or Donald Trump, okay? I mean, those guys are just, just fucking idiotic. Especially Ben Carson with all of the lies that he's saying. But to shove forth that somehow uh, Hillary Clinton is a better choice than, than Bernie Sanders, it's better to not stand up for your convictions? That's crazy talk, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And it's very disingenuous to look at that past of hers and and think that she wasn't getting towards this this goal of every fucking progressive issue it, it didn't didn't even matter that you, you chose that one okay there's a lot of things that she didn't go all in on because she didn't want to mobilize the fucking enemy yes and when and just like with bill clinton okay when you don't actually stand up for your convictions, you let the other side guide your way. And you can end up hurting the cause you want to help more than you're helping. So, uh, let's see. You say that uh, truck drivers and hairdressers is, is how she put it, um, that, that she was getting her opinions from. And you say that Bernie Sanders listens to smarter people. That was a dumb argument from, from TJ. That was dumb. It was dumb. And no offense, but truck drivers and hairdressers don't necessarily know anything about geopolitics. I retort that anyone who does know anything about geopolitics would know that in America, you have to convince the layman to vote for you to be effective and drive positive change. So she is trying to engender herself towards laymen, even though she probably listens to very smart people all the fucking time. You know, how the fuck do you think she stayed in office for so long without listening to very fucking smart people? Bernie Sanders gets a lot of support because he... Well, for instance, he wants to end this corporate prison kind of thing, prison for profit. He wants to end this idea of having politicians completely owned by corporations. They get a lot of support from the layman for that. There's tons of things that Bernie Sanders gets a lot of support from people over. And it's because... He's standing up for his convictions, and the convictions that he's had for 30 years. People may not have been ready for him 30 years ago, but it seems people would be ready for him now. You know, politics is a science too. Um... The science of lying. The science of bullshitting. How about Donald Rumsfeld's speech? There are known knowns, there are unknown knowns. You know that speech, right? When he's asked a, a pretty blatant question and, you know, he finds a way to not actually answer it. Yes, yes, there, there, there is a science to all this lying and deceiving and bullshitting. Yes, there's a science to that. Should we hold that up on a pedestal? Your problem, TJ, is that you're taking Hillary at face value. And your commitment to principle won't allow you to support a politician who will lie or not exactly show their entire hand, you know, to further benefit you. So it was it was it was Clinton's lie Bill Clinton's lies um 
uh, really helped me as a gay person. They, they helped the gay community. They, they, they helped them. That was such a help. And NAFTA, that was such a help. Compromise, lying, it's such a help. So beneficial to the country. Okay. The problem with that is if you're going to support the candidate that is all out for you and you have a very good idea that you want put forth in, in the government that just happens to be unpopular, it's going to get shot the fuck down. Okay? Well, as I said, Democrats try to shoot down what Republicans push forth, but because the Republicans, their style, their way of doing things is to stand up for their convictions, they get shit done. That's how they get shit done. And Democrats get these watered-down bullshit bills pushed forth that don't actually do very much, and then usually there's a bunch of crap put in there by the Republicans because they weren't, you know, to get mixed in with these watered-down bills because the Democrats are pussies. They won't stand up for their goddamn convictions. And you think that's a good thing? And then you don't get what you want. You don't even get a little bit of it. You don't even get the beginning stages of it. You don't get to start on your project. Okay? A president has the power to do this sort of thing. A president has the power to do that sort of thing. Let me ask you something. If someone like, like, uh, 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 uh oh, great. Now I can't remember his name. Uh, how do I forget his, you know, the, the mess, the, the stupid hair, uh, 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 Trump, Donald Trump. <laughs> if Donald Trump got an office and he actually tried to shove forth some of these things that, uh, that he's shoving forth and you know, he's going to get support from the Republicans. Do you really think, do you think the Democrats are going to try to get him impeached? Democrats aren't going to try to get him impeached. And the Republicans can try to get a Democratic candidate impeached, but unless it can really be proven that they've done something to hurt the country, they don't have shit. They can make all these threats that they want, but they don't have shit. Universal health care. I'm just going to say it right now. It's going to fucking happen, right? And... If we had voted for a candidate that was in favor of it, and they had won, no more progress than what Obama has achieved would have happened in Obama's term. Because it's going to take a while for us to switch over to a program like that. Do you really think that what we have now is an actual step towards that? I sure don't see it as a step towards that. I saw it as a pathetic compromise. A pathetic compromise where people are getting fined for not having insurance. People get fined for not having insurance. That is outrageous. Then you see that as a step towards universal health care. It's Romney care. He passed Romney Care. Obamacare is Romney Care. This was a Republican idea. You think that's a step towards universal health care? That's just America, okay? But Obama, by not putting universal health care, you know, and tear apart the system that we have and piss off all the, the doctors and insurance companies and all the lobbyists. The doctors? He would piss off the doctors? I suppose. By not putting that up front, he actually got us started on the path. So do you think Bill Clinton started us on the path to allow gays in the military with the don't ask, don't tell thing? After don't ask, don't tell, there were, there were tons more people getting getting fired, uh, uh, getting uh, 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 discharged from the military than previous. 
Defensive Marriage Act? Was was that a step towards uh, the legal uh, 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 allowing federally gay people to get married? Was that a step towards that? And anyone who would have put that that up front as their uh, wishes for the government, they would have been shot down. They would not have been elected. Okay, so I'm going to go with the person who can get elected and move things forward. And I'm going to actually. So it's 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 kind of like, um, you know, you'll support someone who will just tell people what they want to hear. And won't actually get things actually done, but you know they're electable. Oh, this person's more electable because they lie more, they bullshit more, they act like a typical politician more, they sugarcoat more. Read between the lines. You know, and think rather than take people at their face value words when they're being questioned by the media who are just looking to get them with gotcha politics and, you know, get a fucking soundbite and run with it. Okay. Well, they won't even have to do that if people are just honest from the start. What have they been able to get against Bernie Sanders? Bernie Sanders is just honest from the, from the, the start. You know, the problem with lying is you have to keep up that lie. You have to keep up that lie. You have to, to, to be smart enough to continue that lie. Whenever, and then whenever it gets asked of you, you continue that lie some more. That's a good thing. I think it's much better to be honest from the start. But, you know, I guess that's, that's just not going with, with what's popular enough. Do, do you think this country should be ran by uh, 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 Facebook polls, Google Plus polls, uh, CNN polls? Should the country be ran by polls? I mean, if that's if you're saying that that's what what candidates should should really pay attention to, well, why have a president at all? Just go by the polls, and we'll just run the country by polls. Here, let's. Have a computer program running running the country. Okay, they have to be very fucking careful. So when you look... It's like, like another thing I'm thinking about. Do we want someone that, politician-wise, is more like Steve Jobs? Or do we want someone that's more like uh, Steve Ballmer? I'd rather have the Steve Jobs. Look at someone's record, okay? Don't just look at what they fucking said in, in sound bites. Look at what they were overall supporting. Yes, and <laughs> the Clintons, the 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 <laughs> Hillary supported the Iraq War. Because it was popular. Because it was popular to think that Iraq was somehow responsible for 9-11. Oh, Saddam is a dangerous man. Yes, let's not, let's not look at the, any of the logistics of, of what would happen if we remove Saddam. How is, how, is he going to be replaced with someone that's going to do the country any good? What's going to happen with civil war? All this sort of stuff. Oh, no, let's not think about that. Saddam is a very bad man. He's very bad. You say that Hillary's never shown that she's willing to fight for an idea. And I disagree with that. Um, I'm going to say that Hillary's fought for progressive ideas her whole career by candy-coating ideas in a way that gets past the conservative sniff test and doesn't enrage uh, evangelical Christians and conservatives to vote as a block and remove any chance whatsoever of liberal value succeeding. Again, we can see how well that worked for Bill Clinton.
okay? What you want is to be able to piss off that voting block and get what your ideals are. And you can't have your cake and eat it too and get to piss off everyone who you think is wrong. It's just not going to work that way. The more you fucking piss them off, the more they're going to show up at the polls on fucking election day. So, so, the Republicans can piss off Democrats all they want and still get through the things that they want, but the Democrats can't piss off the Republicans and get through what they want. So, we are, we are hostages to the Republican Party. Do you think we should be hostages to the Republican Party? Should we be hostages to Donald Trump? Should we be hostages to Ben Carson? If they get elected, what do you think will happen? Do you think we'll really we'll really stop them from shoving forth the things that they think are that they have their convictions set for that that they believe in? Right. That's why she's in office and you're not, TJ. That was a stupid statement. And as far as uh, just wanting her to be the first woman president, um, no. I want a centrist who is left-leaning. Who and it seems you want someone who thinks that uh, the real victims of war aren't the ones that are killed in the war. No, they're, they're the spouses of the ones that are killed in war. Remember, that's what Hillary said, so. Who's going to get stuff done rather than somebody who is from the extreme left who's going to fucking, if he does get elected, gridlock our fucking government where nothing gets passed and we have just fucking... You know, filibuster after fucking filibuster. Or, on the other hand, we have just a, a whole field of Republicans that I consider all extremists. We got one centrist here, and that's why I've put my eggs in the basket of Hillary. So, I hope I've defended my choice right now. Um, You've defended your choice... But I hope that you're watching the responses and listening to the responses that people are having. Now I'm seeing six notifications, uh, and maybe some of them are responses to the text comments that I made on your video, but uh, we'll soon see. And we'll see if Hillary actually makes it to the end. And we'll see if maybe, uh, because the, the math is really simple in on that side. Maybe we'll just get a uh, combined ticket and everyone who's uh, arguing about which one it should be will at least, you know, have to say, well, put our, put our pitchforks down. You know, at least we, we've come together and kept the fucking evil of stupidity out of the fucking presidency. You know, bottom line. Well, I disagree with you on a lot of stuff. I do see your points. And I think it's a sad state of affairs that we need to continue to support the stereotype that politicians always have to lie and we can't trust them on anything. But you may be right. You may be right. And that's actually kind of sad.